This episode of Bustin' with the Boys, the Boys, is presented by Barstool Sports. Hello, welcome to Bustin' with the Boys. My name is Taylor Lewan, your dad. Uh, to my right is, uh, some might say best friends, his words, not mine, but also Wolf, Uncle, uh, soothing voice, as some people will say, as we found out in this podcast, handsome ass cat before and after the teeth, but definitely after the teeth. The teeth definitely knocked you up like two notches, which is an impressive, that's like a 20% deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big bang. I think somebody asked me uh, on my Twitter question, how much were the teeth? How much were they? 14 grand. 14 grand? 14 grand. I'll tell you what, Eight worth every penny too. Yes. Your Shout teeth out. are like, you have Patrick Mahomes teeth. You Shout know what out to uh, Clint Newman. Worth dude. every penny. Clint no free Newman. Shout-outs, no free shout outs. No free shout outs to Clint Newman. Shout out Clinton. I've been thinking about doing Best teeth, investment man. I ever made. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about doing the teeth thing, but I've there's two they're straight right now. They're not yellow yet. But I when I look at your teeth, I think to myself, man, I I like some choppers like that. You know what you I'm saying? You almost lost what you were gonna say. I almost lost it, but I didn't. I'll tell you what though, I'm I'm bubbling in my tummy right here. Because you made me hot by interrupting me. You know what I'm saying? Are you already getting mad? <laughs> I just know the last time with the fucking deal with the intro. I think, hot take, you kind of like getting a little worked up in the interview. You think I like getting hot and bothered? Is that what you're saying from you? No, worked up. You like it when I, you, you think I like it when you rile me up? I think so. I think it, it helps you deliver in the intro. I, well, we're doing a shit job right now, aren't we? Well, go ahead. Take it over. I like I'll tell you intro. what, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Bustin' with the Boys. My name is Terrell One, accompanied by Will Compton, the uncle. Need you to do us a little favor, a little quick tidbit before we jump on the thing. All right, put us on pause, but not yet. Wait until I finish saying the whole thing, then put us on pause. I'll tell you actually, again, when to pause, and then we'll, we'll know. Here's the deal. Close your eyes. Open them up. What do you see? You're hearing whatever. If it's Tuesday, you're seeing. If it's Monday, you're hearing. I need you on the early day, on the Mondays, on the Tuesdays. Those are the big days. Those are the tier one days. Huge. I need you to go. I need you to subscribe. I need you to rate five stars on the boys. I need you to go to your social media platform. Maybe shout out the boys, all right, on Instagram. Or maybe you go to Twitter or you go to Facebook. Boy, The boy didn't have Facebook, but some people do, all right? And we like it. We I think we have a TikTok, but we don't really use a TikTok. I think that's a little, a little weird a little up and down with TikTok. You know what I'm saying? We're here, we're ticking, then we're talking, then we're not ticking, then we're talking. It's kind of a weird little deal right now. What you need to do though, hit all them deals. Throw them a follow. Follow. Pick up your phone, call call a friend, say, hey, bust one with the boys. Have you heard of it? They'll say, no, I've never heard of it. You say, okay, well, I need you to go on your Instagram and then you need to explain to them exactly, exactly what I just said. Now record pause, the conversation. Record the conversation and put it on. I need you to now pause me and go do it. Thank you for doing that. Now that we are no longer paused, we have we have, we have we have a great podcast for you today. A lot of a lot of upcoming topics. We hit the we hit the Redskins deal. We hit the Cam Newton deal. We hit the boy Patrick Mahomes. The boy called Patrick Mahomes. He actually answered. It's been twenty four we hours out. since he signed that contract. Yes. And this man's picking up phone calls. Yes. I on the golf course. If Charity. I, if I sign a five hundred million dollar contract, I'm, I might just get rid of a phone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I might Life's about, different, I might, I might not give a fuck anymore. You know what I'm saying? What's crazy is he answered and he said, half a Billy, what's up? Yeah. He did say that, didn't he? Yeah. I, or, or maybe he didn't. But you'll have to watch the whole entire episode to find it out, won't you? All right. The big subject. Merch? In and out versus Whataburger. Oh, that happened. was a big one. That one actually riled me up pretty good for about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Whataburger? Ass, dude. Fucking ass. I had, then, then you also hear in the podcast that I actually laid down my sword a little bit and I kind of remember because I was 13 years old. In and out burger though I've had recently, and my God, it's like heaven between two buns, baby. All right, no pause. I see yeah. you looking at me though. That went through your head. I'm just watching. I'm, I'm just delicious meat in between two buns. Delicious. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just taking that meat in between those tight two buns, mm -hmm. and that's in and out burger, dude. Or between two lettuce buns because we can go protein salad. Like my buddy Bloss knows. Um, Speaking of uh, Bloss is here, so uh, uh, shout out Bloss. Shout out Bloss being back being here, dude. He has not been around. Um, called I called Bloss one day. I was like, hey, Bloss, what's the deal? Why haven't, you, why haven't you been around? But I'm happy to have him back, dude. <laughs> so electrostatic to have the boy back. Thank you for watching this. Always big hugs, tiny kisses. Drop the hook. Love you to death. That's another pod, boys. Congratulations. The boys! The fucking boys! I see a collared shirt in the back. <laughs> fucking killing them out there, buddies. <laughs> Zach got pissed at that. You see him? I know. Shrugged he's his shoulders. A, he's a spark plug, dude. He is a little spark plug. That's the thing about Zach okay. Patton. Is you, uh, one minute, it's all good. Are we going? Are we good? rolling? Yeah, we're rolling. 
That's the thing about Zach, man. Is one minute <laughs> he's fucking happy go lucky guy, win her to fly, and then you say something that's a little hillbilly voice. Just irks him a little bit. I know, just rubs him wrong. Him. You know what it is though? Little man syndrome. No, you think he's got that? I mean, everybody I does. Say that so everybody does it. inherently. It's genetics. Yeah. It's Who just how it? much it shows. Who's taller, Bloss or uh, Zach? Oh shit. That's a good question. That is Bloss, you got little man syndrome? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> hey, do you See, really? He can admit you it. You got that thing? That's the first. That's the first thing you got to do. Is you got to admit you have a problem. You got to acknowledge it. I tell you what, little man syndrome. It's not the worst thing in the world, except unless you're like Napoleon. Like Napoleon had that shit. Little man syndrome. It's just a little chip. Hey, go ahead. Use a mic. Yeah, we so got it's a mic. back there. Yeah, we got six. We got six back there. On the Yo, we got. We're we growing. Roll deep. Yeah. All white. Yeah, I wouldn't dudes even too. say it's, it's uh, up out here. <laughs> uh, is it is the volume on? Yeah, you're up. Yeah, you're up. I would say it's just more of a chip, man. I don't think it's a little man syndrome. It's more of a chip on my shoulder. Yeah, like that hat you're wearing. Oh, do you like that? <laughs> yeah, I saw you turn around with that bullshit, dude. Yeah. Boss is rocking that San Francisco 49ers hat. Uh, Titans probably would have beat the 49ers if we beat uh, Patrick Mahomes in his <laughs> five half a billion dollar deal. Dude. Yo, shout out Patrick oh. Mahomes. Hey, shout out Patrick billion. Mahomes, dude. I almost said 500 billion. 500 billion dollars. Let's dude. fucking go. 500 mil, dude. What a what an absolute stud. An absolute gangster out there. I know. Ten years. Who signs that? Ten years. I don't know. Do we, do we have articles that kind of break down the contract? It's crazy. Because initially you're you're fired up, but you kind of want to learn. You kind of want to know about the deal. Here's what I know about also, the Because there's also there's also some devil's advocate. There's always there. devil's advocate. I know. But it's not like he's not a dude that's signing like like uh, some dude signing a ten year one hundred million dollar deal, and it's like oh you made ten million dollars a year that's solid. Like this dude's making like one hundred eight million dollars the first four years. Something crazy. Is that what like it that. is? It's something crazy like that because I saw. Someone put out, I think it was like, but yeah, that. there it is. There you but go. Bleak that. The problems with Patrick Mahomes contract. I don't know about this already. Well, we can read the devil's advocate side. We you absolutely know what I mean? We can play can. both sides. We can play be both in the sides middle because we're thing. for the boys at the end Would of the day. Would you be, I mean, if you're Pat Mahomes, I don't, in my mind, I'm not seeing any negative with half a bill. Yeah. Like <laughs> imagine. And then once you become, it's not even about half a billion dollars. Once you get that, people are going to be like, it's 450. Listen, it, it, I think it like, adds up. I think it's a little over yeah, five. Yeah, a little over five. 503? Yeah, that's true. It's, yeah, he's basically in there for 12 years. Which he's is in that thing insane, for 12 years, dude. dude. But if you, he's going to get that money, and then all the people like with money that want to endorse players want to endorse the highest played athlete of all time. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so you're saying a lot's going to so come with So he's going to have regardless. hundreds of bill, millions of dollars more come. This dude, Pat Mahomes, might be hot take right now. He might be one of those athletes that make a billion dollars. He might be one of those cats. Right, with LeBron James, right? With LeBron James, uh, Mayweather, I think, did that, and Cristiano Ronaldo. First think, half a billion dollar contract by an athlete. Is that what that said? Ever. Yeah, it's it, but it's by it's, it's a sports contract because uh, LeBron James, and I'm going to butcher it. I'm not going to have the exact numbers right, but he's got like a lifetime $30 million a year deal with Nike. A year. Really? Like you spend all your NBA money, you spend all your other money because you know you got 33 coming to the bank every single year with Nike. That dude just does it, man. He Opening kills a school. It, dude. Opens a school. He all has, those kids. He owns are uninterrupted. He owns it? He, oh, yeah, he's a big That's owner. Uh, own, His first contract coming out of high school from Nike was $90 million before he stepped on the court. Get the fuck. And I think they just raised $100 million to jumpstart a, uh, like a, like a black network, right? I want to get on that network. Dude. You gotta have a token white guy if you're doing like a. a, a you gotta pretty, have a token white guy. It can't be a black network. Is that what it's called? Uh, I, I, think I think it's, it's called, like it's I think like that's it's already been made. It's called BET. I think it's already a thing. Right. People were kind of comparing the two, but I want to say he's jump starting like a uh, like a like a black affiliated like media really? network. Yeah, that fires building me that eco footprint in the black community, you know, which is hey. huge. Let's let's swim back. Let's swim back. Hey, let's swim to the top. Let's swim back to the top. Patrick Mahomes, half a billion dollars, dude. He did it. Billion dollars, he dude. Did it. Half a bill, dude. What do you think he does? Did you also hear that um, there's a big uh, Whataburger? Me and I've some, seen your I've Mickey seen you Ryan, going back I and think. forth. Yeah, Mi uh, is that his name? Mick, Mickey Ryan. Mickey Ryan. Yeah. And no disrespect, because shout actually, out Mickey Ryan. Shout out Mickey Ryan. He's a boy. Yeah, and I think he works for 104.5. He's a 104.5 guy, a 102.5 guy. He's one of the five guys. <laughs> He's one of the. Five. Speaking of, five hey, I can't, guys, I can't not hear myself in the in the thing. I, I can hear myself in the thing. Oh, Mickey Ryan. There it is. You guys know I struggle when I start to lose the hearing. All right, we're good. Uh, I can no, I have to hear myself. Mickey Ryan. Yeah, Mickey Ryan. Um, one of the five guys, right? But this is not a one of four five the zone. That's who he works with. Good dude. Said something about Whataburger. Okay. 
here's the deal. Fuck Whataburger. Because uh, there was a small piece of my life in, in Arizona. You have access to it all. You got Five Guys. You got In-N-Out. You got Whataburger. You got them all. Uh, and a sleeper I think people don't really think about is Fat Burger. Have you read Fat Burger? Never had Fat Burger. Because you're from Montana, Missouri. You don't have the access like Arizona does. You got Hardee's and DQ, baby. Hardee's. So Hardee's is Carl's <laughs> Jur. Hardee's is right, Carl's Jur right. in Arizona. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You call it Carl's Jur? Nah, well, you know. Well, the, the hip cool kids do. It, when you know did you saying? start doing that? Was that like a middle school? You Anthony start Stevens saying, like, started doing that. Yeah, part of the Sexy Six, the squad. Um, so yeah, Mickey Ryan starts talking about um, getting a Whataburger to Nashville. Getting a Whataburger to Nashville. I'm on well, board with The it. reason why we got on this is because Pat Mahomes apparently, allegedly has said, I want Whataburger in Kansas City. Oh yeah, he did. I look, yeah, And now I it's that. happening. I wonder if he owns that. that he needs guess to start. What? Guess what? Ching, ching. Just did it. Yeah. He hey, owns more that money. That $450 dude. million contract. That thing's a bill, dude. I'm telling you right now. He's going to have three commas at the end of his contract. You know what I'm saying? Dude. Then three commas in that bank account, dude. Life is fucking Life different. Life is different, dude. Pick pick apart the contract all you want. Yeah. Well, it's in favor of the team. It's in favor. You're laying your head on bit, on your pillow at night after signing that deal, <sighs> thinking, I just signed a half a billion dollars. That dude doesn't even know what Southwest is anymore, dude. Almost teared up. <laughs> almost, yeah, yeah. Doesn't know. He doesn't even know he what needs American to just Airlines buy a Southwest is. Jet. Oh, he's got to get a plane. You got to, because you're so famous now. Like, he changed the, he's like, Yo, you're the man. He's dude. the fucking Hey, Pat, man. if you're listening, if you know Bustin' with the Boys, you are the fucking he knows. man, dude. He knows. We need to get him on. If there's any interview he needs to do, it needs to be one with the boys. Bustin' with the boys for sure. I see the wheels turning up there. I might call him right now. You want to call him? If he answers, let's Do you want me to see if he answers? Yo, let's see if he answers. Right. Let's fucking go. Who cares? I think Travis Kelsey's coming this month. No, he's not. I think he is. Don't say a word. Yo, what's up? Yo, get the phone. Oh, you just signed a half a billion dollar contract and you, you're answering my phone call right now? Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, golf, I'm actually at a charity golfing thing right now. Sorry, sorry. You're at a charity golf thing? I, I, I'd figure you can't even have people around you, dude. No, yeah, no. I had, a, I had this like scheduled charity golf outing that I like, auctioned Life's off at my charity too. event in the fall and it happened to be the day after I signed the contract. Oh, my God. Well, I was actually calling to say congratulations. I'm doing an episode of Bustin' with the Boys right now. We're just... Spent the first 15 minutes of our podcast just blowing you. So congratulations. I appreciate it. appreciate it. all y'all. I saw, I saw some of y'all's tweets. Hey, I mean, y'all keep me cracking up every time. Man. Well, hey, I'll Let's tell you what. You, you have an opportunity here. A lot of that money can get you on a plane real fast. Come get bust with the boys. Hey, tell him if he's going to do an interview. He's got to do with the boys. <laughs> I know. If you're... Hey, tell him it makes I'm sense. I'm about to hop on the podcast here soon. So I'll hop on the, hopefully before the season starts. Hell out. yeah, dude. I appreciate it. All right, buddy. Have fun at your golf tournament. All right. All right, later. So, dude, dudes just hey, does hang whatever on, the hang fuck on, he hang wants. On. Hang on. That was a big moment. Life's different for us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Hey, we're going to play this one cool, like a weird flex. Yeah, you know. Pat Mahomes. Like Pat. So, Pat Mahomes, like Saquon Barkley, I, I will say this. Got to meet those guys at the Pro Bowl. Those dudes don't know what they're doing for the game of football. They're unbelievable people oh they really are unbelievable really if somebody are. called me randomly that i barely kind of knew but I, I knew him but yeah. i didn't know him i'm not answering the phone i thought myself it might go doo doo the number of you have dialed is no longer yeah answer. but you're also hey hang on now you're taylor lewan you carry some weight you carry I, some weight around little, the league i had a 450 million dollar weight not that but hey 80 <laughs> <laughs> hey listen I'm less than one of his like my what i make I know. my whole contract is less than what he makes in a year no, no, not your whole contract. Less than he makes in Dude, a year. There was a, there was something that came. I think out. he's making thirty or twenty something this year. You're talking about first few years, yeah. I saw some stat um, by a different website that said something along the lines of the first four years Pat makes like uh, one hundred four million dollars a year. It and, might that one might be total because the next two years it was kind of like your situation. He still has to play out the rest of his rookie deal. But now he's getting like 20 something million and then maybe like 30 the second year. There it is right there. Yeah. Yeah. 24. They anyway, the thing I saw that was like whatever Ryan Tannehill is making the fittest four years, like he made in like. Yes. Something yes. Like, yes. You you're right. That? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So how somebody how am was I saying something that's so wrong right now? Because I feel like. Well, you, you said your entire contract is less than what he makes in one year. Right. I'm saying in his first four years. Yes. By yes. far. By, pretty by far. Yeah. But not in one year. That's all I was saying. Oh, and, and the, the boy pe- got a little heat. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's got a no trade clause in that piece. I don't even know you could do that. CAA. I know. I know. A Shout couple, CA, dude. A couple a couple guys have done that recently, right? It's kind of like uh, somebody to it. else just did it. Yeah. I'll tell you what, next contract I get, I'm putting that piece in there. Trade trade deadline's scary as shit. After the Jarrell Casey thing, ain't nobody, yeah. ain't nobody uh safe. safe. Nobody's it's, safe out there, dude. It's a crazy deal, dude. Bullets are flying everywhere. You're ducking. You got a vest on. You're playing Rocket League one night and you just get a text that you traded. Oh, you're gone. Uh, <laughs> hey, that house, that house that you thought about building, duh, yeah, go in the trash. That's right. You're gone. Go sell it. Yeah. Go sell it to Will because he's going to live here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's I'll crazy, th- I'll throw you a couple Abraham Lincolns. Hey, I appreciate that, About dude. 15, but like, you know, 15, you know the pots are yeah. right. You know? 15, yeah. Dollars? Thousand. I'll tell you what, they get you a couple of shitty burgers at Whataburger. <laughs> That's to get you. But back on that, dude, because, um, yo, first off, Mahomes, shout out to the boy, dude. He's such a legend, dude. I, that guy's an absolute stud. Even if you're a Kansas City fan, um, hate him to death, on the other hand, because he did beat us going to the AFC Championship, which we would have been Super Bowl champions against uh, the 49ers. But got to love that guy, right? Yo, yeah. Top notch cat. Yeah, I mean, he just answered your call. He's on the golf course for charity, and he answered a call. He answered your call. That's a boy right there. That's a boy right That's there. That's a boy. Um, in and out Burger is the best burger you can buy at a franchise. That is just how it is. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, there ain't a lot of claps going on on the bus right now. I, I'm, I'm clapping. I was kind of clapping just because I was joining the crowd because I was thinking of something else in my head because he said, yeah, y'all, y'all cracked me up on social media. Yeah. yeah he, he did. So he sees But I was, I was I've seen a couple of them things. He said it. He did. Yeah. <laughs> that is his voice. Yeah. He said that. <laughs> Shout out the boy. Dude. Hey, you know what's funny when Gridiron, that Gridiron. Oh, show, yo, that shit when is they do when bro. they do Pat Mahomes' uh, voice, that shit is so funny. It's every a time. whole dog. Like, yeah, that yeah. sound crazy, dude. Um, we got we got we had a bus divided out here, dude. In and Out Burger is the best burger, hands down. Hands down, the best burger. Down. I don't know about hands down. The bun down. is fresh. The ingredients are all within twenty mile radius of where it it like where the In and Out is within twenty miles. That's where they have to get their ingredients. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? No, because you grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. All right? And you know how many healthy places you got in Nashville, Tennessee? Half of one. All right? <laughs> yeah, half of one. There's probably one out there. Kava's half. Kava's like a fourth. True Foods True Foods is like a, a fourth. So you got a half. Right? Everything else? Hattie B's. Sh- delicious. Hattie B's delicious. Not on, the, not on the hips, though. You know what I'm saying? Make it look a little gooey in the middle. You know mm. what I'm saying? In-N-Out Burger, mm. if you're going to treat yourself, go ahead. And if you don't know In-N-Out Burger, and you should... If you don't, but I'm going to give you a little lesson. There's your menu. You got your hamburger, you got your cheeseburger, you got your double, double, but you can go, you can go protein style. You can go, um, animal Animal style. style. You can go Neapolitan milkshake. All right. What's that? Strawberry milkshake, strawberry, vanilla, and chocolate all wrapped up into one. It's delicious, but it kind of just tastes like strawberry with a little bit of chocolate in there. Yeah. It's really what it ends up tasting like. It's delicious. Animal fries. There's a whole different menu. So I'm, I'm firm in my throne of in and out Burger is the best burger. I went to the hospital like six times in three months one time. Dirt bike accident. Loved dirt bikes, didn't love me back. I was a shit dirt bike rider. I ended up at the hospital. Well, across the street from the hospital is Whataburger. All right? Every time I went to that damn hospital, I had to go to Whataburger. Trash. You really weren't a fan of Whataburger at all. It, so here's like, where, let's, hang on, hang here's on, where hang, I'll lay down the sword. Hang on. There, that's exactly what I was going to say. I was going to say, let's lay down the let's swords lay them down. and let's be objective. Like yeah. You really didn't enjoy Whataburger at all. Here is where I'll stand. The last time I had Whataburger... I was about 13 years old. All right. It's about 13. Okay. 16 years ago on the 22nd. I hey, think, he's I, an ancient change. I think. Floss. <laughs> I think them buds are a little more developed now. What? Them taste buds. You think so? I think so. I think Whataburger's good. What I don't like about Whataburger is the spicy ketchup. I think that is an awful. I think their spicy ketchup sounds good. Concept sounds great. I think their spicy ketchup product is horrendous. But I think Whataburger is a very good burger. It's bigger, feels full in your hand. You really? Know what I mean? No pause. <laughs> yeah, no pause. I'll tell you what, you're t- I'm going to close my eyes. So they have a soft bun as well. Mm. Fresh. Their meat is fresh. Sesame seeds on them things? No sesame seeds. Oh. Get a picture. Pull a picture up. Pull a picture up. I got it right here. Because <laughs> uh, I'm going to explain this to you. Keep talking. You pick the burger up. It's packed in a nice wrap. Okay. It's got the nice, it's the, the paper, white. Paper, tinfoil, like, come on, give me the details. It's got it's got the orange writing on it. Mm. It looks delicious. Yeah. You open it up. See, <sighs> hey, boys, you see how that the bun is packed on the burger? Oh. So it's it's a filling burger, meat in between your two hands, oh. no pause. And you put that burger in your mouth, dude. You bite down. And in my opinion, you could have a debate about it being better than In-N-Out because In-N-Out is smaller. In-N-Out is a smaller burger. Hey, what the fuck? 
<laughs> You're making me uncomfortable right now. What? Because I'm closing my eyes? <laughs> yeah. I'm just in my I, mind. I just keep talking. You keep kind of keep moving. Because I'm feeling. I'm feeling the picture. Picture say a thousand words. They also was your mouth it. watering? It was the way you explained it. Now when I look at this, look at that burger though, dude. Hundred percent. Guess what? That is great marketing. Have you ever seen a curl? I have. Have, I have. You, I've have you ever seen? seen those you ever seen curls? Okay, that's a little bit better. That, that's that's so a little you look more at that. on the. You, lo you that's like a thick, that? That's a thick bitch, dude. That's yes. A, that's a 2C thick bitch. It's not one of those buns where you look at it, it looks nice and filling, right. and you grab it, uh -huh. and it starts to tear a little bit, and there's all, all this fluff involved. Yeah. Like that burger is packed together, so it's full. Yeah, and it's held together by mustard. What's up? A shit ton of mustard. You know what's going to. You know what Relax, gonna... you might have had a bad experience. How many times you've had it? I've lived in Texas for a little while. Oh, I've shit. So, you've so had you're it. a Whataburger guy, or no? No, I'm no, no. no. He's an From the West Coast, man. Okay, well, there you go. You got a sword. You're on a hill right now. I, I respect it. I'm from it's Arizona. A, it's a West Coast kind of South type verse, one versus the other. And what a burger is definitely a Texas thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah. Colt McCoy's huge on it. Is he? Yeah. Every time we go hunting, he's like, hey, that water burger. Hey. I don't know. That's not his voice, but I, I like it. Yeah, I tell voice. you what. You kind of liked it. It's like the it. Texas voice. If you could start talking hey. like that, I'd, I'd appreciate yeah. you probably a little bit more. Hey, man. I get man. that water burger. <laughs> yeah, I know we're going hunt now. I'll tell you what, warm and fuzzy on the inside. So that bun looks like ass. Um, what a burger is okay. I'll tell you what's pull, pull up an in and out. Pull up an in and out picture. Fully, fully out of the conversation, like not even we're talking about five guys. Is there anybody in here that thinks five guys is the best burger? No one? The best, no, but five guys still is a, it's not like a shitty burger. Here's where five guys fucks up. Too many options. If you fuck up with too many options, I'm a sauce guy. You know me. You know I love my sauces. So when Big I start throwing dipper. 15 different sauces on that piece, things don't taste so right. I can't be trusted with the options. Well, that's your own. That's you. I'm just saying, well, that's right. That's why everyone has an opinion. Right? Were you the, were you the kid that went up to a fountain Here's. soda and did like the suicide and you just mixed them all? When I was below 10. Yeah. 10 or below. Yeah. 100%. Just went crazy. And with if, I still drink, if I still drink soda, it tastes like bubble gum, didn't it? Hey, now, now that's a bit that kind of got you peep a little hard, didn't it? Yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of In and Out. Oh. You know, I was out there in Oakland, went yeah. to In and Out after every game. Did you really? Right next to the stadium. Fuck, I bet you smacked them things. Smacked them. Yeah, very fucking good. How good are their French fries? Because some slappy McSlapperton was on my Twitter piece saying something along the lines of all oh, their dog shit soggy fries. They make them deals right in front of you, dude. I seen right. some guy put the thing, put the potato on the thing, and then. Pull the thing down. And when you pull the thing down, little non-cooked french fries come out. But he takes some things, put them in the, the, the sauce thing, pops them in the sauce thing, pops them out, lets them cool, throws them in the deal, gets some sauce and uh, salt on that deal, but bam! And it's on there. It's a nice little deal. Guest number 82. Oh, fuck yeah. That's me walking over there. Guest number 82. That's me. Here you go. I also had a, a Neapolitan chick. Oh, yep, right here. Boom. Like she turns the person, as she's turning, the other person hands it to her and she keeps on rotating. That's the kind of shit. That's the kind of shit. What a burger? Here's what a burger fucks up. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to go back if you don't 13 want 13 year old I, Taylor. You're right. Talking about his Whataburger you're, experience. And you know what? Uh, that's true. But if you if your wrapping paper for your burger is yellow, I'm out. You don't scream hearty and like solid. And I'm gonna put this in my my, my belly, and when it comes out, it's not gonna fight back. You know what I'm saying? When when I when when I, that's what I want with my In and Out burger. When I see the yellow wrapping, I think, oh, that's a battle when you sit on that toilet. I want a battle. You want a battle. I welcome a battle. Grit and spit. You're know, yeah. what you're all about. Piss and vinegar, dude. I want that burger to fuck my ass up. Oh dude. my hey. No pause. No pause. <laughs> hey, not, not on this podcast. My word, sir. A yellow wrapping paper, also McDonald's. Disgusting. I know. I, yeah. It, McDonald's, I feel what, like though, it's a bad I was about five or six, I used to slap a couple of McDonald's burgers. You get them uh, the $1.29, two, two burgers, $1.21. Tell them, hey, throw some Mac sauce in that piece. Extra 50 cents. Mac sauce, baby. That was kind of a solid little deal. Yes. Growing up in Missouri, when the Cardinals were in the playoffs, Big Macs were a dollar a pop. Are you fucked? So me and the, boy, lo me and the boys, we get in. Skip a class, go to McDonald's. Got to. Buy about three Big Macs. You know in high school when your metabolism is really high. I tell you what, I feel like my metabolism is better now. I, but, I, but I feel like ignorance is bliss. Once you find out what's healthy for you and what's not healthy for you, that's when your body's like, guess we're fucked. I'm over here. I'm a young kid. I'm walking around with my mom. I'm holding her hand. Everything is great. I go get a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger's delicious. I eat it. She's like, oh, you're going to go up and be big and strong. I said, yeah, mom, I am. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward 15 years later, I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh, a cheeseburger. Someone goes, you know, those aren't good for you, right? Huh? Yeah, those, are, those aren't good for you. What'd you say? Yeah, if you eat the deal, if you, if you eat the cheeseburger instead of the chicken, 
the chicken's better for you than the, the, the cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then all of a sudden, you eat a cheeseburger, you look in the mirror, you're a little, little, little self conscious. Got a little that's, feel right that, there. That's why I would say your metabolism's not faster I now. I think it's more mental. What do you think? What's more mental? <laughs> 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 once you once you know you're, you're, you're not, you're not gonna right tell now. me dude okay you're fucking me up right let now. me what is more mental hey first off who put the fan right here who put the fan right there fucking rights bloss you know why in and out guys you know what i'm saying and keep gonna, it hey keep it on topic what's, so right. what's fucking mental okay dude? so high school right you are you weight gain guy in high school or weight, weight lose guy i just i you just live dude. your life yeah. okay cool yeah. congratulations that's amazing the boy was toting was toting around that left tackle piece at about two thirty five. All right, mm -hmm. it was all. I, I had to gain that weight. People, hey, eat this, eat that. Wake up at three in the morning, have a protein shake, eat, eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Kind of just figuring it out, okay. right? So you just start eating. What's good for you? Well, steak is not as good for you as chicken. So I would eat chicken, but it doesn't matter what kind of chicken. It doesn't matter if it's fried chicken, grilled chicken, baked chicken. It's just chicken. You think you're throwing protein in? your you body. You just think you're throwing protein in your body. Yeah. So you're like, okay, the boy's developing. All right, I'm looking good. I'm feeling myself. But then. Some some sociopath walks by, whispers in your ear, "Hey, that fried chicken is not as good for you as the grilled chicken. You should eat the fried chicken. It sounds good." You're like, "Fuck, one more bite of that fried chicken. Guess what? You're a little insecure now because you think I thought I was doing so good, but I'm really not doing that good, am I? Metabolism, yes, but also it's mental. It's a mental game. It's a mental game with food. I agree. I'm trying to figure out what's mental. Metabolism? Is that what you're saying? No, nah, metabolism is the thing. Because <laughs> you deal. said I think my metabolism is better now, and I'm like, uh. I think my metabolism is better now than it was in high school. Well, you, should, you don't eat shitty like you did in high school. Pull a picture up of me in high school, please. Yeah, but you don't, you don't, what I'm saying is you don't eat bad like you did in high school. I'm thinking of one specific picture, dude, is at the Under Armour camp. But if you ate like you did in high school now, consistently for a year, you look pretty sloppy. Yeah, you're probably right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It takes a lot to look this average. Yeah. So you're solid on, what a burger is your favorite franchise burger of all time? No, I, I think it's tough. Okay. I think where I come in is I didn't have either of them until I got uh, till I was on the Redskins and we traveled to the West Coast and everybody just started arguing. Texas versus California. They were going at each other's neck, dude. Yeah. And so uh, when we went to Arizona, went to Whataburger. Sure. When we played, um, actually, we got them the same day. Wow. Either way, either way. I got to try both of them. That's and I thought they were both great. I just felt like everybody's kind of like, you know, it's kind of a pride thing. So where, where, where does your pride lie? You don't really have a... Do you not have a horse in this race? Yeah, I don't think I do. Montana, Missouri, think, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, yeah, I think if In-N-Out or Whataburger came to Nashville, I'd be hyping. I'd be jumping on the train, pumping pumping it all up. If Whataburger came to Nashville right now, I would eat it once. Because I need to readjust. I have to be... Okay, I, I got to go try it out. Stud. I got to go try it out. Right. See how it is. Right. If In-N-Out came to Nashville, I'd be there three times a week for at least a month. Now, fuck Shake Shack. Who said that back there? <laughs> hey, Shake Shack's not fucking bad either, dude. I like Shake Shack. Hey, fuck Shake Shack. All right. We've heard me and Bloss and Will's opinion. Can we just go around the room real quick? Starting with uh, General Patton in the back. <laughs> <laughs> General Patton, I like that. So, <laughs> uh, I've actually never been to In-N-Out, so I don't know if I've had a, I have a horse in the race. Whataburger's, it's, it's fine. It's good. Okay. What's, so, if you had to stand on a hill for something, what would it be? Which of the two? No, just any any place. You can put another any dog in the race spot right now. That's known for like burgers. <sighs> you babies ain't the, there's not a lot of place, places in Lebanon that besides like McDonald's, Wendy's. So I don't know for like a good burger. Fuck, pick a Big Mac, dog. Who gives a shit? Nah. It's your life. With the basketball team. Do you guys hey, you don't sleep on that Wendy's though. Yeah. I wouldn't doubt if Zach said in and out. Why? I've, just I've never to, just to back you, you just, just to get back. just to get on. I've, yeah, I've never been to In and Out, so I can't I can't back Taylor yeah. as much as I can't. I guess I, I can't. can't. Uh, pharmacy's not bad. I know it's kind of a little kind of cliche. Yeah, but that's yeah, but that's, that's like a, that's a, that's a, that's a that's gourmet like a, burger. Yeah, okay, that's a gourmet. Okay. Yeah. Shake Shack. What? You ever had Shake Shack? No, I've never even heard five of Shake Shack. Guys? You had Five Guys before. Yeah, Five Guys ain't bad actually. Yeah, let's go. Let's go Five Guys. Okay. All right. I was very strong, confident opinion by young General Patton. Cookout. Oh, never had that cookout know. burger comes comes in a in a styrofoam tray so yeah. i'm already in that's cool open it up sure it's wrapped in foil mm. you open the foil and it smells like you just got out of the pool and your uncle goes hey you want a burger and you get a burger hey i can it, picture that you bite into that and you're like wow and yeah. your lips and your hands are still kind of wet but you don't really care because you're like seven 
Fuck yeah. That's everything. Hands are wet bro. too? That's everything. Yeah, of course. Just got out of the pool. So cookout tastes like chlorine. Got it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right josh what's up hold on time out we have to comment on that because i'm not going to sit, sit and idle by as i, I know see but we're out. letting everybody say their opinion then you can what if i have another opinion about another thing all right go ahead can you not it. say I, I cook out one time one too many flavors of shakes um i mean what is what? your favorite shake that's all you gotta order what do you mean too many flavors of shake you just that's said your thing. favorite shake is one with three flavors in it <laughs> right but there's only three fucking options okay. bro <laughs> That's the thing. It's an all or nothing deal. Simplicity. You walk it in funny. and out, it does. It's only got like four options on the but menu. But there's a secret menu. You have to be in the club. You got to know. Okay. All right? Cookout, they got it all fucking out there. It's like a book. It's like the Cheesecake Factory of all of of, uh, of fast food places. Cheesecake Factory? It's too fucking much. I, I, I fuck, fuck with Cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah. I'm I'm right. Right. Yeah, cheesecake ain't bad, though. Yeah. They got I'm that just saying it's a lot. So it's like a Bible, Bible menu, dude. It is like a Bible. You're like, oh, do I want Mexican? Front to back, 200 pages, dude. Wait, you just got to come back three, four times just to figure out if you what you want yeah. for an appetizer, bro. Yeah, page I'm fifteen. With you, I'm with you. Looking at them chips, and then you just settle for chips and salsa, and you mad the rest of your day because you just ruined it. Cookout. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Never had in and out. Never okay. been west of Memphis, so I don't have a Jesus very Christ. wide variety of taste. And I'm gonna take some heat for this one right here. Doesn't matter to me at all because I've only eaten there one time. But Dairy Queen's fast food burger was probably one of the best that I've ever had. I will tell life. you what, man. I will tell you something right now. I know my special guy loves some Dairy Queen. I do love some Dairy Queen. That's not a bad pick. Hey. That is not a bad pick at all, dude. The, Dairy Queen is a sleeper. The, on the one phone. that I went to was in, I don't even even know what town in alabama hadn't been remodeled since like the 70s oh, and shit. you could tell so i mean Fuck it, yeah, dude. incredible it's not like the ingredients have been there since the 70s you know what i'm saying new ingredients every day uh, nothing can beat some soft serve ice cream dude for dairy queen <laughs> nothing, nothing can fucking do get yourself it, a nice little dairy and treat, i love dude. when you drop that goddamn dairy queen video under any tweet i have about diet i love it dude i laugh every time <laughs> dude me too <laughs> i'll tell you what that's not a bad gig dude dairy queen's a is a sleeper for sure. I don't necessarily <laughs> trust it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Yo, I start hey, laughing while hey, I'm in the cup. You gotta, you gotta cut whatever little laugh that is. A Will's Will got when Will has a genuine cute, like the most playful, cute little laugh you'll ever hear in your entire life. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> you try not to do it right I'm now. To I know you're not, dude. I had to take like a well, hey, but I don't fully trust Josh. The, the only reason I don't fully trust Josh is he seems like a guy <laughs> that will. That will take a burger patty and just put two like sandwich uh, fucking slices on it and call it a burger. Oh, I'm uh, fine with this. That's a sandwich. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I'm a little like, you don't even where, where you put ketchup on top and the ketchup kind of melts through the fucking sandwich. <laughs> oh, line. dude. He's like, oh, it's to, good to me. I, I wanted to punch him in the face the minute he said that. I wanted to kick him off this bus. Because you get it. You know what I'm saying? Straight you, up. Oh, yeah. I could see Josh being that way. At a co you're, you're like that, aren't you? Sometimes I make no. Do, I, I, make, I make do with what I have. No, yeah. Sanders and so he's the guy that's in the back of the line, and he gets there. Sorry, hon, we're all out of buns. It's all right. Give me get a little bit of whole wheat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a hot hey. dog and put it on a uh, fucking piece hey, of sandwich bread and yeah. fold it in half. Oh, we has a whole wheat. Uh, we got the ends. Yeah, fuck it. Put it on the put it on the yeah, ends. every night, baby. Cereal killer, dude. You put the ends. You put the ends on a loaf of, of uh, a loaf of bread on your sandwich. Before I came here, I did. Hey, hey, hang fuck on, hang you, on, dude. Uh, hey, hey, you like I the did, loaf? I did Don't it care. yesterday. Oh, you didn't. I did it yesterday. on a whole wheat, dude. You no, no, no. Gluten free rye. Gotta Gluten free rye. Gotta respect rye. Gotta respect. But it was the butts. The shit bread is what I like to call it. The, the butt into the bread, baby. I'll tell you what. All right. Where you were we? Started strong, oh, yeah, yeah, Gary. started strong with Dairy Queen, ended real hard with that uh, that bullshit whole does, wheat burger. Uh, does Hugh Babies count? I don't know. Does I'm Hugh so Babies sick count? of us getting off fucking like. Let's focus on the one that the big all right, three, then in and out in the and top out. five. What? But no, no, no. That the, everyone's allowed to that. I know, but I feel like everybody's trying to be different. Like, look at Garrett. He's somebody who definitely tries to be different. I mean, Hugh Hugh Babies apparently is a, is a fucking bit of a deal in Nashville. Is it? It's, bomb. it's a bit of a deal. I've never had. It. But if it doesn't count, then in and out for sure. Okay. Okay, then it doesn't count. Boom. I have three. <laughs> All right, Jack, go ahead. Yeah, I'm an in and out guy. Yeah, I'm Angle an in styles. and out guy. I tell you what. <laughs> hey, after 7 p.m., <laughs> my man will eat anything. <laughs> my man's just back there hungry. Yeah, listening. I'm an in and out. <laughs> I could go for something right now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm an in and out guy, too. Red ass eyes, oh. man. <laughs> you say in and out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what'd you say though? 
Does it matter in this one? No, yeah, I'm not <laughs> saying it, He doesn't even want to talk he anymore, He doesn't want to talk, dude. Hey. Yeah, I, I'm an in and out guy. <laughs> yeah. West Coast. Respect. <laughs> yeah, animal style. Hey, but you're from Nashville. Yeah, but there's no in and out in Nashville, so, so am I not just, entitled to say West Coast? Because it's a Texas versus West Coast burger joint. So you're going West Coast. Well, yeah, but I also think it's a geographic thing, because when I'm in Florida, I'm always setting up Whataburger, but when I'm on the West Coast in California or something, in and out tastes so good. I, yeah. I feel like it's always the West Coast that does it for me. I don't know. I respect that. Yeah, I, I mean, that, I, mean honestly, honestly, I respect the argument. Of everybody, that was the best explanation. Yeah. You you talk well when you're stoned. That's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, way to be stoned and figure it out, my God. Oh, uh, what do we okay, got next, well, Alex? If Jackie's parents ever watch this, I'm joking. I don't know if he smokes weed or not, but probably. Yeah, we, we're, we're, we are joking. He doesn't have bloodshot eyes. Yeah, he doesn't. I'll tell you what, though. Hey, you must have ate paint chips as a kid or something, because the way you talk. I'm just letting you know, Ba. I respect it. I wish I kind of sound like that. At least you don't sound like you're 12. I do too. Like if I was in your class growing up, Garrett, were you? I wouldn't, I, I would like be excited when you had to read a paragraph. Yeah, like yeah. Hell yeah. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I, be, I got tip on you. I'll be like, hey, I'll be like, hey, Jack's about to read. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh shit. Man, does the he little always boy. sound stoned to you? <laughs> <laughs> all right what else oh, we got yeah. here dude donovan mitchell responds lebron james could beat mike tyson in a fight this is the dumbest subject yeah that is the i have dumbest, ever dude. heard in my entire life what about lebron james makes him capable of beating <laughs> not even mike tyson in his prime but mike tyson now have you seen the videos of mike tyson dude, now that motherfucker is a savage he will absolutely he'll he'll fucking kill you now yes one swipe. Yeah, he will. We used to play this game in high school. It was like, would you take for you know ten thousand dollars? You take a punch in the face from Mike Tyson, and I was like, yeah, dude, fuck, a punch in the face, eat it. Go ten thousand dollars, rich. Yeah, ten thousand dollars, rich as fuck. Yeah, you know talk about it, tell your boys, hey, I'll split with you. Yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, I give you, I give you a grand, thinking yeah. like it's the end of the, it's the end of the world. Like he just <laughs> yeah. fucking did it. Um, Mike Tyson, dude. I, I after watching him at fifty six, I can't imagine this man, the way he was put, like taking a shot in the chin, no guard up or nothing. Dude, look, look. bro, this that's crazy. I think I th isn't he isn't he gonna fight again? Is he trying to fight again? I think he is. I wonder what changed with this cat too, because he was saying he was on Joe Rogan's podcast talking about how he can't even work out because if he looks in the mirror, it flares up his ego, and he can't he doesn't want to live with ego because he was such a monster back then. Oh, and Mike so, Tyson, Mike Tyson, and now he's like. I mean, I mean, there's a picture I think from six months ago. I mean, I don't know look if you can at find him, it. dude. He looked like a fat tub of goo, dude. Yeah. He was a fat man. Something must have happened. He must have, I don't know. He must have got inspired about something. He must have got broken up with. That's the <laughs> shit that happens. Yeah. You, you get your ass broken up with, hey, that man six months going to be either fat as shit or looking good. Yeah. No, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Everyone dealt with that heartbreak. You know what it's I like. I mean, look at him. Look at that second one. That second one. Jamie Foxx is doing a documentary. Dude. Oh, that shit is hey, so sick. Hey, that shit's fire, dude. Uh, when Jamie Foxx, he's like talking and he's like just land on the law. Yeah, he's like talking, describing how the movie's yeah, gonna open he's up. Yeah, like, the camera comes in. It's not not in the heavens. It's just above the trees, going yeah, through the blue collar. And you're blue like, collar. what? What's gonna happen is, is that they have the new, the new technology now that, uh, as a matter of fact, Mark Scorsese has perfected, would allow us to play him young as well. Because we were talking about who do we get to play the young Mike mm -hmm. Tyson. Luckily, the technology is on our side. Let me give you the opening of the movie. The camera is high, but not as high as the heavens, just above the trees, and it's snaking through New York. Somewhere in New York, and it's cold, and people are on their way to work. It's just one camera, and you hear focus mitts being hit. <laughs> in the distance, and it's just capturing, it's capturing regular day, blue collar people, you know what I'm saying, in the hood, it's mm. just regular. You know, people on their way somewhere, and then we get up to this boxing gym, we see the doors, and the camera stops, and you hear <laughs> the doors open magically camera snakes in and we see in the distance a hulking figure holding focus mitts and a little kid here. see it all and you're <laughs> <laughs> my dad said you was the best don't worry about your dad yeah yeah that's a good ass that's a good one dude Thanks, you man. did good doing Thanks. that <laughs> fuck but mike tyson looked good as shit Look, wearing, this man's wearing a tucked in collared shirt looking like david kessenberry dude Questenberry. Questenberry. Uh, fucking david, just call him david lee like, david no lee. no you can't call him david you're not fast one <laughs> i'm a spider spike Here's partner in Spikeball. Hey, uh, yeah, speaking of Spikeball, uh, you two, what's good? We're ready. What is good? When are we chopping it up? I don't know. Caught us at a bad time. Why is that a bad time? Well, when you asked, we were going to the golf course. Oh, I, I, I was trying to get him to come over that day. Oh, for real? Yeah. That would have been a nice little day, actually. They set us up, though, for golfing. Mike Tyson's an absolute stud. <laughs> set us up, wait. 
what's so next? you guys what's been next talking you guys list? kind of been talking a lot Alex. of shit though about that spike ball i think we'd be a good yeah. team we'd be good partners. i think we're we not really too. good we're not I really partners we... in the deal anyway i know we're not but when we play to, when we play with each other when we were uh when we beat quiz no pause dude no pause we were playing with each other we were playing with each other a couple fridays ago yeah in the bathroom and we beat a quiz and who was his partner Spence, hey, remember Spence? Oh yeah, pull the bulldog, the bulldog, the fucking dude. bulldog. That's the funniest video ever, dude. We're re- if people listen to this podcast. We're now like, we either explain it or go to the next subject. What the fuck are you guys talking about? <sighs> All right, next subject of our, our recency pod: Cam Newton go to the Patriots. Huge can't, move. Can't say I'm not surprised about this. Yeah, Patriots no, just take care of business, don't they? I love thinking now because it's so viral the video of bill belichick walking out into the field and they got stone cold's music behind. watch out watch out Don't do it. yeah, yeah. What? What? Wait a minute. What the hell? Yeah, yeah dude that fucking video is sick Shh, the, the, the kids are like putting their hands out for him to like yeah, high five and just keeps on walking dude, dude. bill he's i think he's gonna crush it you think he is? Yeah. Yep. He signed what his deal was one less zero than Patrick Mahomes is? Uh, I think it's like <laughs> seven million with incentives. Everybody was up it's in like arms about Cam's deal. Let me drop a yeah, little drop gem. some knowledge. Kid. Let me drop a little gem. So Cam's deal is like up to seven and seven, seven and a half worth. He was injured last year. So the market, COVID is playing a factor in free agency. Has to. Cam signed, if you look at his deal, like right here, he signed for like 1.05 was his base. Yeah, that's the minimum. Where he's getting bonuses is he gets about 700000 per roster per game bonus. So what owners are basically doing is preparing for if a COVID outcome happens. Say there's five games played in a year. They only want to have to pay him for five of those games instead of being tied to paying him, say, $5 million base. Because whatever you sign in your paragraph five money, you know about paragraph five. I love paragraph five. We will call it base salary. Whatever you sign in that base salary, once the ball kicks off and you are a vested veteran, meaning you have four credited seasons in the NFL. Which we both do. Which we both do. The vested veterans, once the once game one starts, you are guaranteed your salary for the entire year. Boom. So whenever the ball kicks off, the owners are going to have to pay Cam $1.05 million no matter what. If COVID, a second wave, all that stuff happens, football season shuts down after I seven weeks. I think we're in a second wave right now. Right, 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 right. But let's just say, it plays, a, let's say it plays a factor and the NFL only plays like seven games. They'll only pay Cam per game, protecting themselves from the base that they would have had to have signed him to. Yeah. So everybody that's freaking out about his deal, guys on the market, like that's what's happening. If you're an owner, that's exactly how you'd act because your bottom line is going to be affected. Your pockets are going to be affected. If you are an owner... And COVID strikes us down for, let's say we play seven games, like you said. Yeah. Do you, as an owner, do you fight against paying the players their whole entire salary? I don't know. People are, people are asking like, um, so what's going to happen? Spence was asking me today when we were working out, like, do you think the owners are like, I heard, they heard a rumor that they were going to try to, you know, say the season's short and they're going to try to nix everybody's salary by like 30% or try to pay like, uh, what's it called? Pro rate, like a prorated rate. So however, what is it? So what does that? What does that mean? So whatever you make per game, paycheck wise. Say you only play seven games, you get seven paychecks. Nah. Right. Right. That would be a a horrible deal. I I heard another thing that was like, if we don't have a season, like your contract just extended to the next year. So if I have three years left on my contract, and we don't play this year, let's say we don't play any games at all, next year I would make the money I'm making this year. Oh, that would would still have. Two more years on top of that. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that it just suck. elongates your contract even more. That's for guys that are getting older. They want that third contract. That's a that's a bit of a deal now. Yeah, I mean, it, say there's no season. I mean, I could be done. Yeah, you talk about getting older. Like I'll be 31 next year. Like we don't play a season this year. Like right. it's almost like hey. What a Sorry. shitty way to go out, not saying I'm not trying to be insulting. <laughs> right, right. No, I, I actually, that came out of my mouth, so, and I was we've like, We've had oh, so fuck. many conversations. You we've know had, that's not Yes, insulting. 100%. We've had a lot of, yeah. but there's people that are listening, they're like, damn, this guy just goes out all the time. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> and I don't want them to think that this is one of those times. <laughs> yeah. This man's going after this guy's career. <laughs> <You know what's laughs> <saying? Yeah>. Oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's crazy. No, that would be a tough way to go out. If you're a free agent, so Patrick Mahomes is an anomaly. He's different. My man signed for 12 extra years. He's locked in for a decade. One thing we didn't talk about his contract, too, is I saw he's got a no trade calls we already talked about that but he's got like a a roster game bonus that if a 
a bonus isn't exercised, he has some sort of right to get out of the contract. That might be totally wrong. Yeah, that's I something no that I heard. Clue. I know, I know where that, I know where it's in favor of the uh, the team. Is there was rumors that there was a like a salary cap percentage tied to it, which I was hype about at first, but I learned that that was that that, that, that is false. That's another thing we got to talk about with this cap or this season coming up. Right. That's what I was going to say. It's tough being a free agent this year because say you're like Clowney or one of these guys who are probably going to sign a, a couple years, a few years, whatever. I don't know if Clowney, I think he might sign a one year the way it's looking. You might have to. Like that's why Cam would want to sign a one year. That's why Winston would want to take a one year so they could. Go back to the table and re-up. But what's going to suck is the salary cap's going to be affected negatively next year. Well, that's... Because there's going to be... Say there's no fans this year. That's going to affect all... That's going to affect stadium money, concessions, merch. Yeah, here's what I'm told, though. TV deals. So what the players get 50, 48% of the salary cap, right? I, or the, or so. play, like, players get 48% revenue. of revenue. Right, right, right. All right. So let's say the salary cap, it's at 200 right now. Let's just say that... I don't even know what the exact number is. Let's you're, just say I 200. think you're close. You're, it's around it. They're saying next year it could go down as low as 140 or 150. Could. I'd say it goes down that way. If you're Jerry Jones, you would have to cut uh, a Cooper, a Martin, a Tyron Smith, Dak Prescott. You'd have to cut one of those guys because you can't keep them. Right, because you don't have the money to pay well, you don't, them. Well, no, you have the money to pay them, but the cap won't allow you to pay them. I think, I from what I've been told, is that the owners can go... And say, hey, we're going to keep the cap at what it is this year. It won't go up or down a little bit. It'll stay at 200. That way, they can still keep the players. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because then, like, the Titans, for instance, like, if the cap goes down that far, well, there's, you know, not you can't cut Tannehill because he's got too, too much guarantee left. But, like, right. Derek, like let's say Derek Henry signs a long-term deal, which he's only got a few more days. He's got about eight more days he can sign a long-term deal. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. True. Otherwise, he has to play the franchise tag. Yeah, I hope they get something done. I know, me too. Um, but if not, that franchise tag still. That still you're a running nice, back, right? dude. You're a running back. You only like that's different. You only have so much tread on those tires. No doubt, no doubt. I will hope you he gets along. But as far as ca- salary cap and all that, like the player, the owners have the option to go. We're going to keep it at two hundred, so we can keep these players. Right. So we can we still have the, we can give them the money they like deserve or whatever. I think that's a possibility. Now it's in a perfect world, right? That's mm-hmm. obviously if our PA doesn't go and fuck it up like they usually do or something like that. <laughs> I'm anti-union, man. I know you are. I know. And you're, uh, but you're a big am. union probably, guy. Yeah. But if there's a guy like you in the saddle, probably knowing what the fuck was going on. I like J.C. Treader. J.C. Treader's a G. Yeah, I love J.C. Treader. Now. He's now the president. Right. He wasn't, he wasn't right. the president until, I think it was like February he became the president. Right. I'm a huge J.C. Treader guy. Yeah. We call him Jesus Christ in the weight room. <laughs> yeah. That man can lift some weights down. He's in crazy shape. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like trying to catch up with him. He's fucking moving in that damn weight room. Yeah. He's a stud. But I'm just saying, like, we fucking we're, the NFL fucks NFL PA fucks shit up all the time, and this is there's some areas to get better in. There's a lot of areas to get better than here's here's one <laughs> area areas. you know they fucked up because I'm uh, anytime everybody knows if anybody's in a business deal or anything, if I say I'll give you ten dollars and you well that's not a bad, that's a bad example. If you put anything up, if you want something like players want marijuana to not be a thing on the testing, well for me to give you that. You have to give something up, right? It's a it's a right. it's a give take talk when you're mm-hmm. doing a business deal. Here's a spoiler for anybody who ever wants to play in the NFL before this year, before this new CBA. The test happens between 4:20 and June 15th, and then you can and then when you get to camp to August 9th, I think are the numbers. So the are the numbers. Yeah. So if you smoke a lot of weed, just stop before then, and then when you get tested, you're fine. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you smoke weed. That, guess what? You've now beaten the test. So why would our NFLPA go and argue anything to loosen any type of rule on that? Like Because it's going to happen eventually. Mm-hmm. Eventually, marijuana is going to be wrecked nationwide. Eventually, the MLB is going to be cool with it. Then basketball is going to be cool with it. And then NFL is going to be like, well, we might as well just do it because that's how it works. It's just, just play the game and beat the time. But mm-hmm. don't give up something in negotiations for some lesser, oh, you don't have to go in the drug program now. Like if you can't not if you don't if you can't pass a test, you just, yeah, you're just stupid. You're, yeah, you are. Because the what, union the union sends an email like uh, a couple months in advance talking about when testing dates. Yeah, coming up. testing like, starts April twentieth. Yeah, start get start weaning yourself off. <laughs> yeah, they literally are like, like, hey, by the way, you should know. You. It's like, and then why if you don't you get lucky enough that? and test on uh, the first week around four twenty, or you don't test in like June, mm-hmm. then you you can't in July because you're going to get tested for sure in August. And then once you finally do. 
You're able to do it all year long. All year long. All the way until next. You like cocaine? Do cocaine because you, it's you're not going to get yeah. fucking pop. For Anybody that. who pops, <sighs> foolish, foolish. You're foolish, and that's. I mean, Stephen A. Smith, stay off the weed. No question, dude. Guy, like I mean, like guy, like. I mean, we know the guys. I don't need to say names because mm-hmm. this is a podcast for the boys, right? This is a podcast. I'm not for throwing the boys. nobody under the bus, but if you're doing some dumb shit, getting caught off of weed, I know it's like, so dumb. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't make any sense to me. Just, yeah. oh, I don't know. Anybody can stop doing something for a month. You stop doing something for a month, out of your system. Right. It's done. Right. It's gone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sweating us on a little bit. Exactly. Drink some vinegar. I don't fucking know. Glutathione. Glutathione. That gets rid of a lot of shit right yeah. there. Yeah. Boom, bang, bang. So, what are we talking about? We're talking about Cam Newton. Um, oh yeah, because we started deal, talking about the contract, the, the contract and the situation, and, like and everything. I think he's going to be a stud. I think he's going to crush it this year. You know, we're we're assuming a season's going to happen. Um, so you don't think like uh, all the stadium money and everything else is going to affect like uh, a cap and stuff? No, I think year? it will. I, I think it will. I, I'm I'm just saying. I believe you think I've they're going to help out the teams to be like, hey, we're not going to move. Well, if the you're cat. A bi- if you're a businessman and you're sitting there saying, I got to get rid of one of my top five guys, the, yeah, that would suck. Wouldn't That'd you want to keep that guy? Yeah, yeah, and keep him. And I know there's a lot of different arguments. I'm yeah. not sitting here saying this is what we need to do because as a player, it's obviously what I want people to do. Right. I don't want to sit there going to next year where are they going to cut me because of money? You know what I'm right. saying? You don't right, want right, that right. or get traded because of money. That shit happens all the time. But. Um, no, I think if you play a season without players, obviously the revenue is going to go down. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now there's the direct Which is going to affect free agency next year. Mm-hmm. One thing that's interesting is, I don't know when the direct TV, I don't know if it's direct TV or whatever contract the NFL has with cable company. Yeah. But I think that's up this year. Like they're in negotiations right now. That was right. a big reason for the NFL to get, to get the, the NFLPA and the NFL to get a, get a deal done. Because then, then TV deals. Right. Because then the TV deal is going to be bigger because there's not. Oh, what, that's what, what if there's a holdout? What if there's something going on? about to ha- kind of come yeah, about? Yeah, because the deal right? got done in February, right? March. March. Yes. It got done March. in March. And then that was like hot when it was like first cases of COVID and now it's in the United yeah. States. Yep. So that's some crazy shit out yeah. there, dude. Yeah. COVID's a fucking asshole. I'll tell you that much, dude. That shit's crazy. Cable network is what? F- what does it say? I can't. Cable network's fifteen point two billion. It's up twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. So it's up next year for Monday. Yeah. But like that, was, that, that, was that money, factor, that we money alone. I was told that money alone can pay everybody's salary cap plus players. Uh, I'm sorry, plus coaches, plus you know, upstairs people that could pay everybody. Yeah. Fifteen point two billion. It's unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What's the if the caps? 32 teams, let's say the cap's $30 million. What's that math? I don't even know what you just said. My head's hurting. $200, $200 million, 32 teams. What's the math? What were you trying to say? How many billions of dollars is that? So it would take five to make a billion. So five times six is 30. 30, So it'd be $6.1 billion. Did I just fucking do that? I don't know. We're going to clap. Until we can check the math, we're going to clap. $6.1 Six point one billion dollars. What's the, the math? Go I'm ahead. saying t- if if the salary cap was maxed out for everybody, it was two hundred million dollars. Yeah. All right, and we had to pay all thirty two teams two hundred million dollars. What's thirty two times two hundred? Uh, sixty four hundred. Yeah. What? There's a six and a four in there. Sixty four hundred. Yeah. Oh, so so six sixty four hundred dollars. You said two hundred times thirty two. Two hundred. Okay, so yeah, six point four billion dollars. So I was off by. Point three. <laughs> hey, we gotta we gotta stop. I, I whoever's I'll tell you is, what, we're probably getting roasted. Six point four billion dollars. It's not even half that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but so we the don't money's know if out that's there. Exact. We don't know if like that's what teams are actually. And like, also, that's an eight year contract. You have to split that up. You know what I'm saying? It's like two yeah, billion dollars a year. I feel you. Close to. Yeah. So you can't pay for everybody. I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jeez. Hey, I tell got? you what, I'm enjoying the shit out of this podcast. I am too, man. I am too. It's a fun, it's a fun deal. Just a quick reminder. I thought you were just sitting in your basement hanging out. Kind of are. Jack Stone. We're just trying to fucking chilling, dude. <laughs> Tay in the basement, man, hanging out. I'm just kidding, Jack Spans. Um, big, big uh, little side note. I know we do uh we do we do commercials? Sometimes, yeah, we do, do commercials for like reads. Yeah, for reads. Just a, just we could do we could do a commercial for merch right now. But give give me one second because I need to talk to these tier ones. Okay, talk to them. So tier talk ones, to talk to that Wolfpack. I've man. been seeing, I've been seeing some murmuring. I've been seeing my feed swiggling around, dude. I've been seeing some wolf heads. A lot of pride chilling on them usernames, dude. 
good fucking shit tier ones because you guys have been blasting out. You guys have taken pride in being a tier one. And you tier twos, I can feel you, dude. I can feel you guys kind of making that move. You just cleansed yourself, had yourself a nice little bubble bath, dude, using shampoo and conditioner. Rinsed yourself out, dude. Felt great. Hair's a little frizzy. Get out. New man, new woman, loving life. You about to be a tier one. We loving it to death. Now, tier twos, you guys are probably best friends with those tier threes. You need to put them on. I know there was one podcast, Chris, uh, almost said it. Will and I used to listen to, but we don't listen to anymore. I was like a tier three cat. You know what I'm saying? Sitting in the background. All right. In the shade. Watch it from a distance. <laughs> funny clip. <laughs> That's I was funny. Two. I was tier two. You know what I'm saying? And Will was a tier two guy. tier one. But nah, you were, you weren't like tweeting at the guy all the time. No. But anyway, no, no. but anyway, right? Because, because, but anyway, you brought me along from a tier three to a tier two. People helping people, and that's powerful stuff, right? All right, you're feeling, you're feeling salsa. You're feeling good about yourself. You're dancing up and down. You're riding high. Tier three, life's good. Let's make it a little better and go to tier two. All right, and if you're a tier two, go ahead and ride that little, get that bath, get that bubble bath, little conditioner, little shampoo. Get you to tier one. All right, we love you to death. Thank you so much, and we're back. Oh, we got to do merch. What? What? Hang on. What was the? Uh, you're just trying to say. I just want tier the tier ones. tier threes to move up, tier twos to move up, and tier one stay strong. <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's all I was trying yeah. to do. We got new merch. We do got new we merch. Got new merch. Check out what's dropping. As you listen to this episode, there's new merch officially dropped. White dad hats. No, you're not a dad hat. Guy, I tell you what, I though, am stoked. I could see you on the golf course playing 18 with that thing on. I could see Dude, you wearing I'm stoked. it. I, I can't wait to wear I'm it. Fired up. On I can't you. wait to wear it. I'm fired up on that hat. Check out this. You haven't seen this yet. Okay. Call in sick to work, but you can't call in sick to the boys. God bless. That's a great T-shirt. Quick to the point, bold font. I love. I love our colors. I love our colors. That's a beautiful move. That's a great T-shirt. Crew neck. Good job. That's a great. T-shirt. Shout out Ryan at Hang Ten, dude. Ryan at Hang Ten. He's always doing it. Bro. I owe that guy some money right now. <laughs> I do. I guess I thought that was funnier than everybody else. <laughs> no, they they laugh back there. It's all right. No, that's the only two things dropping. All right. Yeah, that's it for now. Could have done a little bit better. Um, we're in the works. We're in the works. We're in the, you're always you know in saying? the works. That's something quick to where we found a quote. We're like, that's for sure us. Got to get it out. I'll tell you what. Nice whoop. You like that? I need to get my batteries broken. I know. Hang on. I did want to ask you about that. Is well, Have you tried charging the battery pack? Yeah, of course I've tried charging I know. The I didn't pack. want to disrespect you by having that. You plug text. in the deal. You stick the thing in. I was sitting there. It wasn't blinking lights or anything. Waited about an hour. Threw it on the old whooper. Did you put your charger in the water? No, because I've read that. It's not waterproof. The whoop is waterproof, but the whoop charger is not waterproof. So you don't know what happened. I think the battery is just broken. Or maybe it met the water without me knowing. Maybe they introduced themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to get that back in action, dude. Get it back. I do love the whoop. I do love the whoop. whoop. Um, I was going to say something to you else that I really was excited about, but I forget something what it is. Something to you else. I love it, dude. I love it. We're in the basement. Fucking English. Just killing it, dude. Yeah. Um, I forget. I forget. Buy the merch. Yeah, buy the merch. You gotta buy the merch. Oh. Leave reviews too. I love reading. Those reviews, reviews are f- unbelievable. Five dude. star review. Five star review. I'll figure it out eventually what I was gonna talk about. Let's move to the next thing. Washington Redskins changing their name. Do you think they're gonna change it? Yeah, probably. I love how they said um we're going to do a, th- a thorough investigation about changing the name. Well, they're going to come back and be like, yeah, we, we, we've, our investigation right, showed that we so changed funny. the name. It's like, okay, why well, you guys sound so what political do you mean? right there? Just walk in the room. Hey, we're changing it, right? I think if the Redskins change their shit, I'm buying some of their stuff to have and be like, oh yeah, that used to be the Washington Redskins. Yeah. That used to be, you know, like the Houston Oilers. Just to kind of have the it. Compton it's kind of cool. Jerseys. What's that? The Compton jersey is going to be a little hot commodity. Ooh, that Compton jersey. I might have to get me one. But then I have to let you fuck, man. I can't have that. You know what I'm saying? I can't have that. If you're if you were to change a name, what would you change it to? Um, I threw my hat in there a couple times. I said you said something about teeth with Big Cat, didn't you? Yeah, Big Big Cat. Big Cat said the Washington teeth, and then I said my old chip tooth as the logo. Yeah, that's funny. That was funny. The the boy Josh, he put together a nice little uh, graphic for us in no time. I would love to see it. The Washington. I said Washington Wolfpack. Of course you did. But does that not go? Is um every I mean no, 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 it doesn't. Are there any wolves in DC? Are there wolves in DC? 
I don't Who think there gives are. a shit if there's wolves well, in D.C.? Well, the Titans are the, they call this the Athens of the South, correct? A lot, a lot of people think Washington Red, Washington Redskins is in the state of Washington. I thought that when I was younger. Uh, that's what I'm that saying. That's a bit of a deal now. I'll tell you what, you want to talk about a mine explosion? Hey, that's a funny little deal. <laughs> Fucking Dairy Queen and that? Solid, yeah. dude. That's some solid underlying Washington deals. Washington uh, Wolfpack, though. I See, it doesn't play. Like, you have to probably put something with politics in there. Why do you got to put yeah, something the capital? Apart? Exactly. Yeah. Something like the Capitals. Um, apparently, uh, the buddy who owns the Redskins. Dan well, Snyder. Dan Snyder. His partners want out. 40 Three of them. 40% of the Redskins are for sale. Tell you what, this bus kicks up on revenue. We might have to get our That's hands what I'm in saying. there. saying. Might have to get our hands in there. Own, own a little we bit of We can still team. try. Yeah, why not? Like, hey, what's this money worth? Throw a couple, a couple Abrahams. Yeah, like you said. A Abrahams I don't know. Lincoln's I've dude. never heard somebody refer to Abrahams as the first name. A couple the, Lincolns. The Washington Lincolns, dude. Solid. That's better than the Wolfpack. I like that better. Like the, um, like we talking about Athens of the South. Predators. You know why the Predators are named the Predators? No. Nope. When they were digging the arena out, they found um, a skeleton of uh, a saber tooth tiger, a saber tooth tiger in there. So they became the National Pred or the yeah, National Predators. Right. Yeah. Nashville sounds. Why? Music City. See, it all kind of plays. Houston Oilers, a lot of money, a lot of oil in Texas. Boom. You're right. No, I mean, Do you know what I'm right. saying? Arizona Cardinals. I'm still on board with the Washington Wolfpack, dude. Hey, I know you are, but that's... Wolfpack like Nevada? Wolfpack like Washington Wolfpack. Yeah, but like Nevada is called the Wolfpack too. So what? I think Washington Wolfpack would be sick. I don't think that'd be that sick. I think I the think idea that is sick, I think what would happen would not be sick. All right. You upset? No. Just, we, like we, old, no. Will you change the colors? What do you do? Black and gray? No, I mean, you could keep the colors. Just, just go red, wash it and Red wolf for yellow teeth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm out on that. But I'll That's tell fine. you what, though. We can I'm going to do I'm going to do some homework. I'm going to do some homework on that. What do we got? What else? Kanye for president? I mean, I'm sure we can. I don't do we even have know a take. Do we care to have a take? To say about this. I like to stay out of politics myself personally. Yeah, um, it's just depressing. Uh, if I had to vote, like Kanye, my, my man's a little wild. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty, pretty sure he referred to himself, himself as Jesus one time. Yeah, he you know has. What I'm saying? Yeah, he has. If you if you think you're God, I can't vote he for does. you. He does. He does. He thinks he's a god. He thinks he's a god. I believe so. Um. I will but you know I'm into the whole conspiracy Illuminati, like I'm on, you know. So you think Kanye is a god because of that? No, I'm just saying like I he has said that. So you're like, oh, he thinks that? And I'm saying I think so based on cons conspiracy theories I've seen. Yeah. Do you think the Illuminati, you think the Illuminati is real? Yeah. Do you think Jay-Z's in it? Yeah. Do you think Kanye's in it? Probably. Do you think uh, Kim Kardashian's in it? Probably. I don't think they are. I'm fucking out on that. Um, but which, they, celebra which celebrity would you vote for for president? I I'll know tell mine. you what, I, know I think I know who you would, and I think I'd be the same person and say it on three. One, two, three. The, the Rock. Rock. Yeah, yeah, dude, let's go. Oh, dude. Hey, that's dude, solid, dude. dude. I'll tell you what, The Rock got to get a little head on his shoulders. I'll tell you what, if you're looking at leadership and you like, imagine being like fucking whoever the Chinese president is, walk in there, say hello, <laughs> open the fucking door up. Holy shit, 6'4", of just broad dude, shoulders. Dude, The Rock? <laughs> I'd be like, hey, holy shit. Hey, wait, yeah, we're not going to do nothing yeah. to y'all. That handshake, hey, hey, whatever you want, man. scary shit, dude. Could you imagine a negotiation not going well and you just get rock bottom through a table <laughs> in the White House? That's how you declare war. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd say I'd vote for The Rock for sure. I shake somebody's hand. Uh, they say their name. Excuse, excuse me, what would you say your name was? And as they say it again, it doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> it doesn't matter what your name is. Dude, oh, I love that. Dude. People saying they'd vote for a celebrity just because they like them. Like we don't even know the Rock's policies. I know, but he seems like a great dude based on his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if he look good on their Instagram, yeah, then they're yeah, good. Yeah, then yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? I know. It comes out the Rock's a communist. They look like assholes. Yeah, could happen. Good. Who's get this? Canceled. Who's this? Get, get canceled. This cute little adorable. This is uh, Usain Bolt's kid. She's adorable. Named. Olympia Lightning Bolt. That's when I saw your question, what would you name? I, I thought of Lightning Bolt. So No, great. I think it's a great name. I think yeah. he crushed it. Anybody else who would name their kid that, you're an asshole. That is perfect. Yeah. You saying Bolt can name yeah, he can name. Name whatever you yeah. want. That's a sweet little deal. Fucking on that. Promote under the hood. 
I, I guess we shouldn't read directly. <laughs> hey, off. we probably should cut that out. You know, we're not professionals. We just do the fucking. We thing, actually bro. are. Well, technically, we are professionals. We make money in this business. That's true. You know what I'm saying? So we are. I, we just do it our way. Our way. I fucking like that. Oh, so under the hood, Jack's baby. Correct. Is there anybody I'm not referencing? It's kind of a combination between some people. But between two people, go ahead and give credit. Like this isn't a fucking. Hand the mic over. G. Garrett, Garrett, and Jack. It's their baby. Our 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 interns. We're letting them do their thing, dude. Jack had an idea of wanting to do like behind the scenes stuff with uh, surrounding bus with the boys. So catch conversations Bank? before and after the episode. Get us driving in, just kind of oh. from a perspective of an intern. He wanted to make a, a segment called Under the Hood. He had a couple sketchy names, which was Behind the Boys. Mm-hmm. Ooh, no pause. <laughs> yeah. I like. I saw that happen in your mind, too. You go, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. no pause. Whoa. Yeah. He also wanted, like, Behind the Bus, which is still... I didn't still, mention any you know, of these names. Those well, weren't me. Oh, so you're throwing somebody under the bus now. I didn't... You didn't hey, you had no problem. When, when it was behind I under the hood, it was I no did. problem. Yeah, he said, oh, two I people. Mean, yeah, it's me and some other asshole. Yeah, and then he's me like, and two people. Hey, that's some really sketchy names. Yeah, it was Garrett. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't me. It wasn't I don't me. know why he would say that. Um, but Under the Hood is the behind-the-scenes look at how shit goes down surrounding the bus, which I'm a fan of. I do have a correction. I have a, uh, I have a critique. Oh, wow. Publicly, you're going to say this. Yes. Um, accountability. Accountability buddies. That's right. I thought the song was kind of trash. What was the song? Play it. See, Taylor didn't even know. Nope. He saw it. He asked what it was. We said it. He saw it. He thought dope. Um, but it's, yeah, it's the intern's baby, dude. I will say, anytime I watched a movie and you go to the credits and they start playing like people messing up during scenes or the jackass guys laughing... Always thoroughly enjoyed that. Always. I love seeing. That's kind of what this is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see people, you idolize people, you look at people, you're like, wow, busting with the boys. What a legendary performance by those guys. But then you get to see us just being normal dudes. Yeah. Just guys being dudes. Just fucking up. As if that this podcast can't be any more of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Solid, dude. Solid. Let's hear this thing. Immediately, I already had that thought in my head. Get to some of the talking. Oh, what's up, Chase? Why'd I call you Chase? Oh, what's up, Jack? Oh, what do you that's think right. about this new Under the Hood vlog series? I think it's dope. I thought the, uh, what was it called, yeah. Behind the Bus at first? Yeah. A little sketchy, a little suspect. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Behind the Boys? That one, <laughs> that one, even more suspect. Even more. But, uh, yeah, I think hey, that was that cute-ass laugh we were talking about. I'm fired up for it. <laughs> I'm fired up too. I think Josh is going to grab it now you said that. I think that. you're going to fucking crush it. And so I believe in it. Whatever you're going to do, I'm with it, dude. Right. Fuck yeah, dude. I love, I love how too? positive you are in this video. You want to know when it came after? I even said the conversation when you're like, hey, I'm going to be Guess 40 what? minutes late. We're starting off the day with some adversity. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Anything, anything uh, notable? I was picking up our lattes and our coffee for our guests. I got a text from Taylor saying I'm going to be late. So I responded, this is... It's not common, but it happens with the boy every now and then. He responds, <laughs> 40 minutes. And uh, I guess he's going to get acupuncture. He thought it was going to be 10 minutes long with his pregnant wife, Taylor. She's due within the next few weeks, so she's getting acupuncture for pregnancy stuff. And I just responded, all good. He goes, see? You tell me all good, but is it? <laughs> and I'm like, well, it's happening. I can respond negatively, but that won't do anything. Just get here when you can. Crash the bus, crash the pot. I have your latte waiting. There we go. And we're here. Lattes on deck. <laughs> lattes, lattes on, on deck. deck. <laughs> Kill. The initial thing was doing copyright free music, which we found that song, which I wasn't the biggest fan. But if you'd heard the other stuff, you would have been a fan of that. We switched it, and then we did Remember to Breathe by Sturgill as the song, which worked so well. And then we got blocked for it. So uh, That's because the boys, we're just too popular now. Our, this podcast is just like on everybody's radar. Now, when you say we get blocked by it, what does that mean? Like we can't post it? So, Yeah, YouTube goes about copyright infringement two ways. They either block it and claim it but they let the video live they just take all the ad revenue or they block it and say you can't upload the video at all and, and that's, that's, what, that's they what they did for this one yeah ah uh, damn gotcha well you know maybe we'll find a better song next time there's one last thing it was like read, i don't know i kind of like that pod, or review reads there's a couple. 
I'll tell you what, I ain't reading that shit. <laughs> hey, uh, Today I came across. <laughs> we'll have Jack read it. Should we have a segment where Jack reads the reviews? Dude, we should. Have Jack sit right there and read the reviews. Hey, yeah, today. have Jack read the review. Have and, Jack read that. Uh, and today on Stoner Reviews, Bullied by the Boys. Sounds about right. Can you read? Hey, can you read that? Uh, bullied by the boys. Hey, real Perfect. Quick, real quick, what is that trophy? Did we get? Did we win something else? So that is. Uh, that's the you know the baseball team that I coach. So we <laughs> yeah, came I've in. Seen your Instagram. So we came in second <laughs> this weekend, uh, in a tournament of two teams. <laughs> oh, so they're just handing out trophies. Oh yeah, participation. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get that trophy out of here. Zach, I was gonna throw it away. Right, hey, Gary, get it out of here. I'll take that trophy to the store and get it switched out with the bus with the boys plaque. Yeah. It looks like we won something we else. But right now we need it off the bus. No. Garrett, get off the bus. <laughs> Second place fucking trophy. Dude. I guess like, we don't, look how big that shit is. I guess we don't uh believe in participation trophies. No. That shit's like up to somebody that's like up to my waist. That's how big that trophy is. Second place out of two teams? Not a big participation guy. That's podium. Get stand I'm, on the podium. I'm more upset that that's gold. It should be silver. I, yeah, I do. That's another play too. But I mean, still. Anyway, let's get back to the segment. I'm pissed. All right, off Jack, right come now. sit down. I'm frustrated. I'm flustered. Yeah, come. Uh, does that mic work? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I would hope so. What? He said I would hope so. All right. On today's episode. All right, everybody, welcome Jack to the Bustin' yeah, with the Boys. Jack. <laughs> welcome. Long time listener. First time. Is it on? I don't. It sounds like okay, it's, on. it's on. Yeah. Um, hey, they're always. Are you nervous? A, a little bit. You can probably feel I my can, heart. I can see it. I can see it shaking. I feel his heart. Feel his heart. Feel it. I mean, put your palm. Oh, on hey, it. that thing's bouncing, dude. Right now, hey, dude? that thing's banking. Bing, 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 a lot of riding on this. There is a lot of riding on this. about it. Reading back in high school or whatever, middle school was. I was with you, man. It was, it's a tough deal. It's a very stressful time. So you know, you just gotta you gotta get going. Hey, so. he is. His heart is fucking beat. I'll dude. tell you what. If you had me read if this, he had right a whoop now, on I'd, right I'd now, I'd start sweating and I'd piss myself. If he had a whoop on, it it'd say he's in a workout in the middle of a workout right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no shit. I swear to God, like, love whoop. <laughs> hey, come, hey, relax. I can hear relax. my headphones. Hey, get this guy an edible. There you go. Take a breath. <laughs> Yeah. It's All right. Friend. Welcome to our new segment. I'm Jack, the intern, and uh, this is bullied by the boys. <clears throat> Five stars. Well, at least, at least it was a good bully. Yeah. Today, I came across a video on Instagram in which video I felt personally attacked. This video depicted various levels of fanhood for a podcast. I find myself in a state of found, self reflection. Go back, redo it. <laughs> what? Don't do I that. Found myself. Don't do what that. I, I said I no, found. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You said I find. <sighs> it's all right. I found myself in a state of reflection and realized I was not where I wanted to be. I felt down on myself, oh, shit. like I just got wedged from hell and hung on a locker. It's interesting. So I decided to stand up for myself. I will not allow myself to be in a situation to feel like this ever again, I said. <laughs> so here I am, bored at work, about to listen to my first episode of Bustin' with the Boys. Shaka. Shaka, dude, five stars. Five star review, five star read. Shout oh, out also the, Game of Thrones yeah. or GOT giant orgasmic testes, dude. Yep. That guy is not a virgin. This is a great <laughs> review, dude. Five stars. This guy probably, he probably subscribed, unsubscribed, or resubscribed. This guy's on a fast track to a tier one. He's on a fast track. He is. Respect well, and love that. All right, bring up the next one. <laughs> The boys, five stars from Nick V, nineteen seventy four. Before you go any further, <laughs> yeah, I know, dude. I almost don't. You want to do better this. fucking do this, like an actual dog would do it. Don't say the word, be the word. It's getting heavier. Feel it, feel it, feel his chest while he does it. Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. <laughs> ruff, ruff, ruff. <laughs> That's Wolf for the boys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Hey, he had to be doing? stopped. He had to be stopped because it wasn't good enough. <laughs> what oh, the fuck hey. are we doing? <laughs> Bring up another one, dude. Oh, oh no, the fan. Oh, God. Oh, this is a Finally, a normal life. name. Say the name. The boys from Noah Gaither. I think is that how you pronounce oh, that? The, hey, at least we got that's Noah. A fake Shout name. out Noah, dude. Shout out, Shout Noah. out Noah's fake name. Yeah. Five stars. I was scared oh. and lonely. I was a scared and lonely puppy before the wise guidance of Taylor. 
period. Interesting period. There's a lot of grammar in this one that probably is my grammar, but his words struck power into me, transforming me into one of the boys. Taylor taught me patience, especially when dealing with those who are disrespectful and interrupt before the climax of the story. I'd say who, but no free shout outs. <laughs> Love you guys and appreciate the laughs. <laughs> Four wolf emojis. Thank you, Noah Gaither. I love the way you said that. I would have liked you to say wolf emoji, wolf emoji, wolf emoji, wolf emoji. We can probably cut it. No, no, no. It's no, fine. Okay. We'll just leave that. Sure. One, to, one. Was it run to grow on? One to grow on. Yeah. There you go. Hey, someone's birthday's coming up. Yours. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you did it like it was mine. Hey, someone's <laughs> birthday's coming up. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, shout out Noah, dude. Shout out Noah's fake name. That's definitely not true. But I appreciate I can be a, uh, what was it, um, teaching you patience. I, I don't think I've ever taught anybody patience in my entire life. But you taught him. Taught Noah. All right, Jack. All right. The Boys, original. Five stars by, D I'm not sure, I'm not going to try and pronounce that name. Honestly, if you told me that I would get to be soothed by the greatest linebacker of all time and a man who has become my father, I would have said it doesn't exist, but goddamn, I love the big hugs and tiny kisses. God, sacrilegious and beautiful. What a gorgeous. Uh, I'm not going to lie. One. I enjoy seeing the uh, comments when people talk about my voice being soothing. Yeah. You feel like my voice is soothing? No question. <laughs> I, I, hey, did I you have, see the excitement? In I have you on tape at home. I put you before I go to sleep. <laughs> I've cut up a bunch of words. Hey, the call map should get me, uh, have me do a little voiceover story. I'll tell you like what, Matthew no free shout outs. No free shout outs, call map, but. Bring that paper so we can buy the Redskins. Or the Make Nobody Mads. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Hey, good job. Thank you guys for doing uh, reviews. Thank you for doing that. It was unbelievable. It was fun. You did great, Jack. Thanks, guys. How do you right feel now? I uh, feel my heart. Way better? Pretty calm. Yeah, it has went down a lot. That yeah. shit was rumbling. You were good. close to a heart attack. You got to ride the wave. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't have done that good. I know I wouldn't have done that good. You noticed a period. I would have never. I can't. I, he said I, you noticed a period. When I when I see a period, I fuck it. I hammer fuck through that thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm one run, one run, long run on sentence, dude. This was Keep a solid pod. This is a solid pod. I enjoyed this pod. Hey, subscribe, rate five stars, Always. leave reviews like this so Jack can use this fun little voice and read them. Yeah. Um, follow us everywhere and shout us out, dude. Show us some love. Tier ones, we hear you. We Bring them you. tier twos along, dude. And the, oh, but the, 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 the tier threes. Ooh, big. We know yeah, you're we back, back the there in the darkness, dude. Flip the light on, get the cockroaches out there, and come on the bus, dude. That's right. Big hugs, tiny kisses. Always. Guys, gals, people of all ages, appreciate you so much for tuning in to another episode of Bustin' with the Boys. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the episode on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever platform you're on. We're on there. Uh, we have a YouTube channel, Bustin' with the Boys. We would love if you subscribe there as well. If you are subscribed and you want to be a more for the boys, unsubscribe and resubscribe again. It sounds funny and stupid and kind of obnoxious, but all of your subscriptions and resubscribing and stuff, it helps in these little algorithm games for climbing charts because, again, we are very organic. You guys, where we're at is because of you guys. Um, so we like to keep it fucking organic and just from us, dude, us versus the world. But we really do. We, we really appreciate your guys' support. Um, a few of you had questions about merchandise. You can go. Our merchandise store is on BarstoolSports.com. Go over to shop. And we are under the brand Bustin' with the Boys. You can find all of our gear there. We restock constantly now. Um, if you guys have any ideas, shout us out. If you guys buy the gear, shout us out. We really do love when you guys talk back to us, add us, mention us, put us on your stories, tag us. All that fun stuff. We like grabbing that stuff and putting it on our YouTube episodes. Um, and again, we just love it, man. We love you guys. We appreciate you so much. Uh, keep being for the fucking boys. Keep being a wolf. Uh, the biggest of hugs and the tiniest of kisses. We love you. We appreciate you. Tune in next week for another episode of Bustin' with the Boys. Says he loves the way